Ladies and gentlemen, this is Brother Daddy here coming to you today with a short video. Um, today's video, we're going to be featuring, well, not featuring, but we're going to be talking about a, a topic that I believe it needs to be talked about. Um, that topic is... Oh, actually, it's a question that some people may be asking. Is the cross necessary for salvation? Yes. Because without the cross and without what, without what Jesus did there by dying on the cross, we wouldn't have salvation. We'd be on our way to hell right now. But thank God he chose to, well, before the foundation of the world, they, they, they had the Savior becoming man. The Savior didn't become man before the foundation. He became man in the New Testament, the New Covenant. And so, because of what we are talking about here, we are, we know now that the cross of Jesus Christ, not only is it, um, not only is it necessary for salvation, it is necessary for your everyday walk with the Lord. And I believe we need to stress that a few times. See, what the cross symbolizes, what the altar symbolizes back in Old Testament days, the, old, the altar that they built back in the Old Testament symbolized the cross. And so, as we look at Old Testament typology, when they say they rebuilt the altar or they built the altar, that's a type of the cross. The altar is a symbol of the cross of Jesus Christ. I want to talk to the Jew, the Jewish folk for one minute. A lot of you believe that a lot of you believe that we must keep the law. We must do the things that were done in the Old Testament days. Well, here's the thing. By you saying that, you believe that there is no savior. Jesus Christ died on the cross for you. Amen. He died on the cross for every single man, woman, boy, and girl that ever walked this earth. I want to talk to my Native American brothers and sisters in the Pequot tribe. Folks. We as a Pequot tribe, we believe in um, the creator. Well, God is the creator. But do you have other stories to tell about how the creator created um, things and all that stuff? But Jesus Christ, God's son, well, God created man. God created the heavens and the earth and all the herbs. Now, you guys need to understand that because that's important. There's only one God, and that is Jesus Christ, and I'm crucified. I want to talk to my Muslim people. Folks, 
you believe in the Quran, you preach the Quran, you teach the Quran, you, 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 you diligently seek Allah and you pray whenever you get, uh, whenever you do. But Jesus Christ is your answer. Jesus Christ is your only answer. And I believe, um, uh, Tamir, um, Tahir Victor Paul uh, from Pakistan, I thank you for standing up for what is right in, in God, getting out of that Muslim faith. I pray that other people like you will, will find the truth. I'm going to talk to my Catholic brothers and sisters. Mary is not the mother of God. She is the mother of the man Christ Jesus. And I know it's hard for you guys to understand that, but that's the truth. Mary is the mother of Jesus Christ. And he died for you all as well. Now I want to talk to my 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 Baptist folk, which I used to be now I'm Pentecostal. Once saved, always saved. I've spoken about this a few times, but I believe it is time to speak up again. Once saved, always saved is the most deadly doctrine that you can ever believe. It can actually send someone to hell because of it. Amen. So, you guys need to understand that. I want to talk to my Pentecostal brothers and sisters in the Lord. Go back to the cross. The cross is your foundation. It should be your foundation. By placing your faith exclusively in what Jesus Christ did at the cross, you will have victory over whatever sin you may have or whatever bondage you may have in your life. I want to talk, um, if you, if you don't believe in that, then you're not, you're not preaching the cross. I want to talk now to the Methodist people. Methodist, there's no... 12 step program. There's no steps. There's no methods to being saved. Except Jesus Christ as your, as your Savior and Lord. That's the way it's supposed to be. I'm going to talk to all the rest of y'all right now. If you backslid, it's time to come back to the cross. If you never if you've never been saved, it's time to come to the cross right now. Accept him as your Lord. I also want to talk to those who are of the <clears throat> Mormon faith. Because the Mormons, yes, they believe in Jesus Christ, but not in the right way. Come to the cross. I would say leave your church. Do what you got to do to believe in what Jesus Christ has done for you at Calvary's cross. Amen. That's all I got to say about that. Do you find the nine minute stop recording?